You don't have that disease, do you? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm. Aloha, folks. Welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Our guest this week is a model who I've worked with a bunch, as well as a former Playboy Playmate. I'd like to bring my friend Tiffany Toth onto the show. There's Tiffany. It is me. All right. So we are going to make a Trader Vic's cocktail tonight. Okay. It's a communal drink, which means that more than one person can drink off of it. Off okay. Of the multiple straws. And that's good during COVID right now. Don't make this at home. Well, you can make it at home, but don't make or this with a friend that you haven't been quarantined with. Yes. Good thing we've spent the last five <laughs> months together. For this cocktail, we will be using lemon. We got the lemon. Orange juice. We got oranges. Pineapple juice. Be this. Rock candy syrup, which is in this bottle here. Oh yeah, this is your little, um, your little special juice. Yep, homemade okay. rock candy syrup. We're really filling up the zone here, oh. aren't we? I was never a bartender, so. Don't think this has anything to do with bartending. <laughs> Curacao, which is this. It's an orange liqueur. Herb Saint, which is, what the hell is Herb Saint? Yeah, I was asking, what is that? Ugh, no, um, <laughs> it smells like licorice. It does smell like licorice, <laughs> and I hate black licorice. Yeah, me too. We will be using light Puerto Rican rum, 151 Demerara rum, and brandy. We got brandy in the house right here. In that big jug. So we're gonna start with squeezing an orange. So All right. why don't you cut an orange in half? So this is the only little knife I get for this big orange? It's really sharp. <laughs> oh wow, that is a sharp knife. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everybody thinks it's plastic, but it's not. All right. Okay, and then we're gonna squeeze it into here. We need three Damn. ounces of this. Did we even say what the drink is? No, you gotta tell me what the drink is. This is the rum boogie. Rum boogie. Yeah, and the reason I wanted to make this drink, the Hula Girls just put out a 45 with a song called The Island of Rum Boogie. Or The Isle of Rum Boogie? The Isle of Rum Boogie. It was based on a Three Stooges episode. The orange is too big for the... You gonna cut it again? It's... Show me. So what I'll do, if, if it seems too big, I'll just put the front of the orange in I was just gonna cut it in half and then... Right, this, this okay, it's a really tough orange, okay. Okay, you know. So that's two ounces. So go ahead and pour that into... No, that's three. No, it's two. Oh. So pour that into the mixing glass there. Okay. And then we need one more ounce. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard to do. <laughs> I have one of these at home, but... <laughs> it's not very I think that went in your eye. That weight in your eye. It is. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> this is dangerous business. Oh, man. Do we need another orange? It's hilarious. Yeah, thanks. No, I like this orange. <laughs> <laughs> We're about a quarter of an ounce shy, so I think we need another orange. Oh, okay. Where'd you get these oranges? Grocery store. Oh, you don't have a tree? Not yet. I do have a tree, actually. I do have an orange tree, but it has one orange on it right now, and it's, it's kind of sad, so. So, how much more? Uh, just to the one. Right. That's perfect right there. Okay. Cool. All right, pour that into the thing. Okay. Okay. And now uh, lemon juice. We need two ounces of lemon juice. Okay. Okay, so how much of this? Two ounces. Two. All right. All right. I think, think you got that one. All right, got it. We gotta get rid of all these. Okay, so that goes in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need another ounce though. Oh, okay. There okay. isn't one ounce. Do you like lemon in your cocktails? I do. Mm. I like lemon. So we got orange, yep. lemon, yep, and what next? Pineapple? Sure. So with this pineapple juice, you want to make sure that you shake it first. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing? No, please don't do the whole thing. Oh, okay. Just one ounce. Is it the one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just do it by looking at it. Oh no, <laughs> that's, you can't make drinks that way. Why? Everybody always says they're so strong. That's what you want. Well, all right. All right. You must not have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I have zero fun. Curacao. It says one dash. What the f is a dash? So you just look at it and dash. So you don't measure. So. That was like a blop, but <laughs> we'll call it a dash. Okay. <laughs> the dash of Herb Saint. Please do less oh. of a dash with this stuff. 
Ew. I think that this cocktail is getting a little bit um, looser than we normally do, but it's okay. It's because uh, Tiffany's fine. How much of this? A dash. It said a dash. Okay. Well, we don't like this, so it's more like a drink. I've always said it's super important to be meticulous about the, the proportions because then the drink won't be the drink. But is that not enough? Should I do? I have no idea what a dash is. A dash is like a dash. Oh, hi there. I hope you're enjoying the show. I'm sure you're enjoying watching Tiffany and well, the other me. <laughs> but I have to address the dash thing. Now, of course, Tiffany just treated it like, I don't know, like anybody would. A dash is a dash. You just kind of splash some in there. But I knew, I knew that Trader Vic is not that flagrant with his ingredients. So I went back to the Trader Vic's bartending guide and lo and behold, on page 27, dash, as of sugar syrup, or jot, grenadine, lemon juice, etc. quarter ounce. So though Trader Vic uses dash as shorthand, he really means a quarter ounce. I can't blame Tiffany because Tiffany was doing it like you would think you would. And uh, I think the blame lays on me for not doing proper research. So we made the cocktail totally wrong. You'll see how we liked it or didn't like it. Anyway, back to the show. Whatever, we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, one ounce of light Puerto Rican rum. All right. Ooh, that smells good. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, one ounce of that, one ounce of brandy. Boy, this is the big bottle. I don't think you've even opened this yet. Mm, I don't use a whole lot of brandy in my life. One ounce. Oh, glug, 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 glug. Okay, one ounce. And then one ounce of the 151. There you go. There we go. One ounce, that was right. uh, that was pretty much on the, on the dot there. Yep. All right, so for this cocktail, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use pebble ice from Sonic, and then we're gonna throw it on the Hamilton Beach mixer here. That's a good ice. Yeah, it is. So I've, I've mentioned it before on the show, but if you go to Sonic through the drive-thru, or I guess you could go right up to the window, um, and you ask for a bag of ice, they will give you a bag of this incredible... That's where you got this? Oh, this yep. is the good ice. It's like the little crunchy... Pebble ice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like $3.25 for a giant bag. Me too. Right. So we're going to take this and give it like a five second blend. All right. Mix. Okay. Okay, so, so you got to push it all the way against the back of the... the okay. Thing. Right here. Uh, you just, you just there you go. That. And then up. There oh, go. got it. Okay. Cool. That's probably good, right? Yeah. Okay. So Trader Vic would have put this... Oh, it's cold. Holy cow. Cold. Trader Vic would have put this cocktail in something like this. But uh, because Tiffany insisted on fire, we're not going to be using what it would probably be have been served in. So we're not going to use this one. We are going to use a Volcano Bowl. And I think Trader Vic in the past said something about if you were a bar owner that lit things on fire in your bar, you were a damned fool because he just, he just imagined all this stuff going up. So um, he's probably right, but also it's super fun. And people like to see their drinks on fire. Mm -hmm. I do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, pour it in. Don't, all right. don't pour it in the middle though. No, I won't. Okay. There are kind of a couple of different thoughts of how you do fire in the middle of a volcano bowl. Um, a lot of people use, use bread and they soak the bread in 151. And I always thought that was kind of gross because, or like a crouton, because it just kind of, yeah, it smells like, it's just like burnt bread. Burnt bread, yeah, like, actually it's probably good, like toast. Okay. Oh, okay, so what do you use then? So what I do is I just pour some 151 in the middle. Okay. And let her roll. Why don't we do that with a lemon heart? Mm, hold on. Hang on, one second. I changed my mind. We're not gonna use Lemon Heart for that. We're gonna use Bacardi 151 because it is a lesser 151. I don't wanna waste the good stuff. All right, so pour a little of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. And then I have this little okay. salt shaker that I filled with cinnamon. So okay. we'll be using that in a moment. Do, we Do you matches? have a lighter? I don't have a lighter. I have some matches from High Tide Recordings. Let me go get them. 
Okay, so, so from our friends at High Tide Recordings. So how long is this flame gonna last if there's not a crouton in there? Mm. Okay. Guess we'll see. All right. You, we'll see. Do, you want me to do this? <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. I didn't, you know what? Shake but you don't really notice up. the flame very much though. No, not really. Is this gonna like ignite it? You just shake it over the, over the top. <gasps> Ooh. I think it kind of. Oh shoot. Okay. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. I think. All right. All right. The moment of truth. Mm. That's good. That's a good drink. What did What did we pour a bunch in? Was it curacao? We did, no, we did a dash. Yeah, your dash was uh, an aggressive dash, but super good. That's a good cocktail. Yeah. Can you see the flame? I feel like it needs a little something, like more flame. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what else I you would do. Or maybe flame this. What, the whole thing? Yeah. So you want to pour more 151 in there? See what, I can see what, oh, you know what, that might actually be bad. Yeah, well, your, <laughs> your hairspray. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should put out the fire if you're going to be so close to it with your hair. Because okay. we don't need a Michael Jackson thing going on here. I think that just happened now, right? Alright. This cocktail would be served in a, in a bowl like that. And then they would put a gardenia in the middle. We were going to serve it in that bowl, but we didn't have a gardenia and so she was going to put plumeria in there. And we discovered the volcano bowl idea and so now that's where we are. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, uh, thanks again folks for joining us on Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. I want to thank my Delightful guest, Miss <laughs> Tiffany Toth. But was I really? Yeah, it's subjective. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you back here next week. Thanks again and aloha. Aloha. For this cocktail, we will be using lemon. There you go, show them. Oh, okay. So <laughs> sorry I didn't tell you. My guest this week is oh, what'd you just say? I mean, I like just model, but Instagram Our... model. <laughs> <It's even worse. laughs> I don't. I should have looked at these before. <laughs> What's the drink? You, you tell me. I don't know. I don't even know what the name of the title of my own song is. Flat tire. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Here, catch. Yeah. Google it. <laughs> what is it then? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know any girls at, at the Playboy Mansion that were named Brandy? Um... Seems like a Playboy-y name, doesn't it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What the... <laughs> Open that! Oh. I loosened it. <laughs> Alright, so for this cocktail what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Pebble Ice from Trader... What's it called? Trader Vicks? No. What it probably would have had been served in. Is that how you said it? Have, have it been... Have it been served in? Okay, what are you asking? It doesn't matter. We'll use a mash for this. Match. Uh, but then we discovered, geez, 151, man. Ma, <clears throat> whoa. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like you were about to sing something. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> me, 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 me. So you went to the mansion, right? I did, yes. And did you meet uh, Mr. Hugh Hefton? Did. At his Chicago mansion, he was a pretty—he was a pretty big collector of Whitco tiki stuff. Did you know that? I did because you told me that. Oh. Do you think it was weird that he? <laughs> I can't say that. Can I say that? <laughs> there was a there was a day that I was at the, at the cemetery where Marilyn is, is buried. Oh yeah, I went there. My, my ex girlfriend and I were there, and somebody was delivering flowers to Betty Page's grave. Oh, I didn't know she was there too. Yeah. Oh. And they say that it's an anonymous person who's been putting flowers on Betty Page's grave for since she passed away. Hmm. And there are rumors that it might have been. Yeah. Well, rumors be rumors. You don't know anything? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Astro wants in on this. <laughs> Astro, come here. You want to sit? Come here. Be it, lady. 
What's your favorite tiki bar? Because I know that you are a fan of, of tiki. So my favorite tiki bar, I do like the one at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. I do. I do too. Um, I do like the little bootlegger in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And it's also attached to my favorite coffee shop. I think they're the same owners. So that was actually... I think. Oh, I think so too. Yeah. So that building was actually the um, Palm Springs Don the Beach Company. Oh, okay. Same building. If you look outside, there are... Uh, like little tiki, orange tiki heads. Yeah. That were the, the torches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact. I went to the Mm-hmm. It was tiki. It was tiki. Um, see, I didn't make now, it the, the other. See, now you're getting into my stuff where I'm like, mm, can't put that in there. <laughs> we are going to shoot some more stuff tonight, right? Yeah. So we can do some 60s looks. Well, we already, we already got some good stuff. Yeah, we shot a bunch yeah. of stuff tonight. Yeah. That included a lot of flamingos. Mm hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe those will be editing time for this video. What's your favorite tiki drink? My favorite? Uh, painkiller. That was. Is that not considered tiki? I feel like it's tiki. So they, they call that, well, they call it tropical or more Caribbean. Okay, well, that's where I had it originally, so. Oh. Yeah, that's but I mean, every time I've gone to a tiki bar, they've had painkillers. Yeah, oh, totally. That's I order, so I mean, mm -hmm. if they put it there, it's tiki to me, so. And the the version of the painkiller at Trader Sam's is called the Tiki 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 Rum. Tiki 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 Rum. It's a good drink. I haven't been there in a while, though. Because, because nobody's been there in a while. Yeah, I know. My plans for my birthday this year were to go to a tiki bar. And that was in March. Ah. So. That's when it all started. I think there was one in downtown LA that I wanted to see, but the I haven't seas. gone. Okay. Yeah, in Clifton's? I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I was looking it up. I wanted to go see that. Mm -hmm. it's How was that? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean I can't I can't go anywhere right now, so Except for this. This is why I'm here. Except for <laughs> in this tiki bar. Yep. I'm gonna Yelp review it after. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. I hope I get a good review. What happens with the 151 up here? I dare um, you to drink just that I don't... through the straw. You do it. Me? I gotta drive home, you do it. I do live here. Aha! I don't believe you, I saw some go back. <laughs> yeah, of course it went back. That tastes like burnt rum. That's funny, because this is what I used to take shots of. Don't drink that. Ugh. Well, I guess that's it, huh? Once again, this is the rum buggy from Trader Vicks. Rum buggy. You would use... Boogie or boogie? Boogie, like... Boogie. Okay. Like boogie. Um, <clears throat> whew, man. I remember my first drink. Huh? Am I supposed to say something else? Do you have anything else you want to say? Do you not want to be known for anything? <laughs> you were in Playboy twice. You're uh, part owner at a taco shop. I know. Which is my favorite food. Tacos. I don't know why you didn't bring me any tacos. Because it's in freaking LA. It is? Yeah, it's in LA. It's fucking No, I don't even get tacos. <laughs> yeah. You know what you oh, you know what you did bring me? What? Oh yeah. See, let's let's plug stuff like that. My whole bathroom is all chalkware fish and mermaids and all kinds of sea life on the walls, like from the 50s. And um, one day what you posted something on Instagram that you found a mold of the vintage uh, mermaids, right? Yep. And you were like painting them. It was when we were like stuck in our houses, yeah, quarantined, and so I was busy crafting it up, and mm -hmm. you know, and I was like, "Ooh, I want one of those." And she brought it to me. I have my own Swear little. Oh my god! If you break that on camera, that fin is fragile. The eyes even match your eyes. <laughs> she seriously painted her own little Tiffany mermaid to go on the bathroom wall. So isn't that sweet of her? And she signed it. I love that. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's very nice to you. You're welcome. Are you selling these? I mean, I, I've had people ask about it. So yeah, I guess if you want to purchase one, you can DM me. $700 each? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, also, you should follow her on Instagram, uh, Tiffany Talk, at Tiffany Talk. At Tiffany Talk XOXO. Hmm. Yeah. Your name's hard to say. But it's hard for me to even say. <laughs> than, How many like, views do you think this will get? Not as much as a train wreck. It's been a while since I've been out of the house. Our friend Liz Garza did her hair tonight. Yes. 
actually I don't know how <laughs> I'm gonna get this hair out tonight and it got there's probably hair in your bushes because <laughs> probably <laughs> my hair got stuck in it earlier what what year would you say that hair's from like um, style wise well it was inspired by Raquel Welch okay so, so mid late 60s You tell me. Uh, I just yeah. see something I like and... Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say 60s, 70s. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, I'm I'm asking okay. you seriously. Like, I, I'm not sure if that, like it was a specific thing, but... Um... No, I just... Big hair and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could also say it's like Lana Del Rey-ish, too. Hmm. So, whatever you want to call it. Lana. The, like the heyday of the tiki era was probably late 50s to mid, well, through the 60s. Okay. There's a lot I would like to cut. <laughs> well, I, I don't mind. It's just like, I don't know. It just, over time, it just gets like, ugh. I, I get like for other people, it's like, oh, okay, but. It's kind of a big deal. Did I you just... ever go to the grotto? Mm -hmm. Were you in, did you go in the pool? Not at the, at the Playboy Mansion? Yeah, all the time. You're frolicking around in the pool. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I would go by myself sometimes, like when I was staying there. There'd be like nobody there. I'd be by myself, yeah. Really? At the Playboy Mansion pool? Yeah. Did you see celebrities there? Yeah. Charlie Sheen? Mm, I don't remember if I saw him there. I know. Bill Mark? Chevy Chase? Not that, no. You're not going to give any up, are you? I'm, I'm trying to think who I was like, oh my gosh. Ben Affleck? I, I'm not like a celebrity person, so I like. I'm not I either. Honestly, like, don't like. There's some people who are like, oh my gosh, this is, like, that's just not. Half the time, I don't. I would be talking to people who are like giant deals, and I'm like, and I'd be like, why do they want your photo? And I'm like, oh, because I, you know, like, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> like, I just don't. I don't know. I was in Castaway. Okay, so you're Tom Hanks. I'm not Tom Hanks. <laughs> I would yeah, know Tom. you would know Tom. I would know, I know Tom Hanks. That was a dumb example because everybody <laughs> knows Tom Hanks. I, I, most of the time, I wouldn't know athletes. Oh, I would know. I wouldn't know any athletes. I, yeah. Yeah. But like a lot of people who were on like you know, like Food Network. Oh really? Like, they were there at the mansion. No, it's the Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> I'm not talking about this anymore. Oh, we should say uh, we should sign off, right? Yeah, sure. All right.